So today we are looking at the Soundpeat Air 4s. Let me turn it this way so you can see the front of the of the case there. Thank you to Soundpeats for sending these out a few weeks early, giving me the opportunity to kind of get a grip for them and listen to them and kind of hear some nuances and what have you. But as always, these are going to be a consumer friendly review. I'm going to get my good and honest opinion. So let's jump into the review because there's a lot to cover here on these earbuds. So let's jump into it. Before we get into sound, I want to start with what has impressed me most, and that is the battery life. With casual listening over the last few weeks, about 30 minutes or so a day, the battery is still at 100%. Now, I know that is because I have several earbuds laying around, including others that I'm currently testing, but that's still very impressive compared to the others. Now, there's a claim playtime in these that's 26 hours, and with my experience, I have no reason to doubt that at all. The battery capacity for each earbud is 35 milliamps with a 300 milli 330 milliamp rating for the case, which basically recharges it, right? So when I'm not using it. Um, that provides the total listening time up to the 26 hours. Now, the earbuds themselves individually take one and a half hours to charge fully, and the case itself takes two hours to charge fully and with the included USB-C cable, and it's a USB-C port that charges the case. Moving to the design, I love the small compact case and how well it fits into my pocket, backpack, tech bag, etc. when I'm mobile. Now, for some, that could be an issue because it is very small, making it easy to lose or misplace. But for me, I'm pretty well organized and a creature of habit as well, so it works out really well. Now, the way the earbuds fit into the case, I will say it's unique. Um, and it, it took me some getting used to, they kind of fit in backwards. Um, so it's a reverse pattern when you're putting them in as well as taking them out to put them in your ears. And so that took me a little second to get used to, but the earbuds themselves are fairly small and really light. They're four grams a piece and they're 38 grams with the case, right? So you do the math. Now, in regards to the fit, it's a one size fits all approach. And that is where these become interesting as they will fit well for some and not so well for others. So moving forward from here, when we discuss sound, keep that in mind as it will be a factor for you as well, depending on how this style of bud usually fits your ears. The suggested fit for these would not have the bud stalk pointing directly down, but forward the tip of your ear towards your face. And that basically turns the sound into your ear canal and puts them in the right position. Um, the technology in these earbuds are pretty impressive though. The Air Force have 13 millimeter dynamic drivers, adaptive adaptive noise canceling with triple mics for noise cancellation, Bluetooth 5.3, which allows them to pair with multiple devices simultaneously, and they're paired with the Snapdragon sound. They have the Qualcomm aptX lossless codec that supports up to 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz, and they're stated to have studio quality sound up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz high resolution music over the wireless transmission. It's a mouthful. Now, AptiveX Adaptive dynamically adjusts the bit rate of your music to optimize for quality and latency requirements based on what you're listening to, like music versus gaming versus entertainment, etc. Uh, the ANC mode has adaptive noise canceling and will adjust itself based on the environment. So each bud has three microphones that use a total of six between the pair to control up to a 45 decibel reduction in environment ambient noise. Now, this is most useful when you're using to make a phone calls, right? And speaking to someone directly. Now, as far as gaming mode, it's a low latency at 88 milliseconds, but in my experience with these game mode on or off, there was not a lag on video watching or really casual gaming. As far as the sound, it's interesting, and there's a good bit to unpack here. In regard to the way that these fit in my ear, they don't fit the best. They tend to need a push here and there back into my ear as they gradually come out over time. Now, never all the way, but just less deep in my ear than where they're supposed to be. However, this probably shouldn't be a deal breaker for you as I have pretty small ears and it's not uncommon for me with these style of earbuds, hence the earlier disclaimer. So for earbuds with rubber tips, I usually use the small to medium style tips as a reference as the larger ones usually are too big for my ears. So please keep that in mind as I work through some of the rest of the sound profiles on these. Ignoring the fit, these sound pretty good and I'm saying pretty good. Um, as for me, it depends on the sound profile being used and whether or not ANC is engaged. Now, I'm not sure if it's my ears and the fit or the software, but there's a noticeable difference for me uh, with the sound profiles as they change based on if the ANC is on or off. When ANC is on, if using the presets, I tend to use the rock and roll bass and, and the bass boost profiles. Now, when ANC is off, I use the Soundpeats classic profile. ANC seems to basically increase the thickness of the music is how I would describe it. 
and it delivers a fuller sound overall without muddying up the mix. Now lastly, and these particular models, again, maybe due to the fit, the Adaptive EQ really, really works well for me overall. Better than all the preset profiles and outside of me creating a custom EQ, it really works well. And outside of writing this review and listening to the profiles in order to tell you my preferences, I only listen to the Adaptive EQ. Now, it's a well-blended mix with clean vocals and a good mid going into low range. These headphones are not bass heavy to me as I've, I, I've had some, um, at least in Adaptive EQ, and I have it really nice, and they have a really nice fall off. A nice, clean, low presence that shows up and allows you to notice subtly in the music you're listening to. I really enjoyed these and they're a good rule of thumb for me in deciding if an earbud or a headphone is high quality is if I can subtly hear uh, the subtleties in music, you know, whether that be vocals or instrumentation. Um, and with these and the Adaptive EQ, I, I most certainly can. So Hojir has a live performance of Work Song on YouTube he did on other voices live and you can hear the individual voices like as the song starts and then the harmonizing comes on as they accompany him and then moving into the lyrics the harmonies between like the band members and Hozier um, and then at about the one minute 20 second minute mark there's a low I don't know if it's a bass or a keyboard that comes on and it's just freaking sweet and then there's at the three minute 15 second mark there's a uh, holder does this subtle head to to uh well chest to head uh transition in a falsetto falsetto that's like just freaking sweet and you can hear that in these earbuds so the imagery these were able to grab is beautiful and i found myself listening to this over and over again and i'll put the link for that video in the description below um, that way you can check to see if your current earbuds or headphones allow you to hear the subtleties and I, almost like location of the voices as you're listening so these are absolutely pleasant to, to use and even though they have they don't quite fit all the way in my ears i do really enjoy how light and airy they feel in my ears there's no weight whatsoever i mean again they're four grams a piece and I, I find myself um, listening to music that has, you know, subtlety in it so that I can you know, kind of hear that subtlety. You can't always hear that in most earbuds. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Go ahead and join the conversation. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing. If you like more content like this, go ahead and watch this video here, which is going to cover some other earbuds that I've reviewed. Um, and as always, stay cozy in that crazy world. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.